Hi, welcome to the channel NCRT Maths Tutor. In this video, we will discuss class 12 mathematics chapter 3 matrices in that multiplication of a matrix by a scalar. So first let us understand what is a scalar. Here scalar means it is an element which we can multiply with the matrix. So now here let us take one matrix. The matrix is A with elements A, I, J and the order of the matrix is M cross N. Then if we have a scalar K, let us say that the scalar is K, then if we multiply the scalar with the matrix, then we get a K A and that is nothing but a another matrix which we get by multiplying this K with each element of this A. Where here we can have K A is equal to K into A I J M cross N. This K value we need to multiply each and every element of the matrix. So that we get here K into A I J. Where the order of the matrix is not going to change. Let us understand this by taking an example. See I have taken a matrix 2 minus 5 1 minus 3 4 6 which is a 2 cross 3 matrix. Here we have 2 rows and 3 columns. And then I have taken one value. That value is nothing but a scalar. K is equal to 7. Scalar means it is one value which we are multiplying with the matrix. So here I have taken K is equal to 7. So now here if I write K A that means K is 7, 7 A. Matrix A is this one. So we can have 7 into this matrix. So when you have like this way, whenever you are multiplying a scalar with the matrix, then that scalar value you need to multiply with each and every element of the matrix. So here we have 6 elements and the scalar element is 7. So this 7 you need to multiply with all the 6 element. So 7 into 2 gives 14, 7 into minus 5 gives minus 35, 7 into 1, 7, 7 into minus 3, minus 21, 7 into 4 gives 28, 7 into 6 gives 42. So this is the resultant matrix which we get after multiplying a scalar with the matrix. And here you can observe we have here 2 rows and 3 columns. After multiplying a scalar with the matrix, the order of the matrix is not going to change. Here at the beginning we have 2 cross 3 and here also we have 2 cross 3. The order of the matrix is same after multiplying also. So that is about the method of multiplication of a matrix by a scalar. Next in this case we can have one more type of uh, multiplication where here we are multiplying the negative value with the matrix. Here the scalar value is negative. See for example we can have a matrix known as a negative matrix. That matrix we call as a negative matrix. Let us say that we have a matrix A. Then the negative matrix of A we denote as minus A. This minus A we can get by multiplying minus 1 this with this A. So here this minus 1 act as a scalar. So if you multiply this minus 1 with the matrix A we get minus A. And this is known as negative of a matrix A. Let us see that. See I have taken A is equal to 1, 5, minus 3, 6. Which is a 2 cross 2 matrix. Here we have 2 rows and 2 columns. Now if I want to find the negative of this A. Then which we denote as minus A. To get this value I need to multiply minus 1 to A. See minus 1 into A is nothing but minus A only. So this I can even write like this way. Now here this minus 1 act as a scalar value. And then this A is a matrix. And we know that whenever we have a scalar value and when we are multiplying that with the matrix, we have to multiply scalar with every element of the matrix. So minus 1 into 1 gives minus 1, minus 1 into 5 gives minus 5, minus 1 into minus 3, minus minus plus, so this becomes 3, minus 1 into 6 gives minus 6. So here you can observe, see here we have a matrix A, 1, 5, minus 3, 6 and here we got minus 1, minus 5, 3 and minus 6. If you compare these two matrices, then you can observe this is A and this is nothing but minus A. This value is the negative of this matrix. So by using a scalar, we can even find the negative of the matrix. 
Next, with respect to the scalar multiplication, we have some properties. So, let us discuss that properties of scalar multiplication of a matrix. So, now here, let us say that we have two matrices, A matrix, Aij, B matrix, Bij, and the order of these two matrices is M cross N. And let us say that we have two elements, that is two scalar values, K and L. Then, based on these values, we can have two properties. The first property is K into A plus B is equal to KA plus KB. And second property is K plus L into A is equal to KA plus LA. Here, K and L are the scalar values and A is the matrix. Similarly, in this case, K is the scalar value and A and B are the matrices. So, now let us see this by taking an example. See, here we have this first property K into A plus B is equal to KA plus KB. Let us verify this. See, I have taken a matrix A, matrix B, where these two matrices are of order 1 cross 3. Here we have one row and we have three columns. So, the order of the matrix is 1 cross 3. Then I am taking one element as a scalar. Let us say that that element is 2. Then, see here we have left hand side K into A plus B. So, to perform this operation, first you need to find out A plus B. That means you need to add matrix A with matrix B. And we already familiar with the matrix addition. We have to add the corresponding entries for matrix addition. So, perform the addition. See, K is 2 here. Write that as it is. Then you perform A plus B. So, 1 plus 4, 2 plus 5, 3 plus 6. So, 2 into 5, 7, 9. So, here we got this value. This is the resultant matrix after addition. That is A plus B matrix. Then this you have to multiply with the scalar. Here scalar is 2. So, 2 into 5, 10. 2 into 7, 14. 2 into 9 gives 18. So, you can observe here we got a matrix and this matrix is order. This matrix order is also same. 1 cross 3. Next here let us consider the right hand side. Here we have Ka plus Kb. So, Ka first you have to multiply the scalar with A matrix. Then you have to multiply the scalar with the B matrix. Then you have to add the result. So, first here we have the scalar as 2. 2 into A matrix is 1, 2, 3 plus 2 into B matrix is 4, 4, 5, 6. So, multiply here. So, this is the scalar. Scalar multiplication means you have to multiply with every element. So, 2 into 1, 2. 2 into 2, 4. 2 into 3, 6. Then, 2 into 4, 8. 2 into 5, 10. 2 into 6, 12. Now, we got Ka as well as Kb value. This is Ka and this is Kb. So, you have to add these two things. So, here, this is a matrix. This is a matrix. So, matrix addition you have to perform. 2 plus 8. Then, 4 plus 10, 6 plus 12. Here we get 10, 14, 18. So here also we got one matrix of order 1 cross 3. Now you compare this with this. You can observe here we have 10, 14, 18. Here also we got 10, 14, 18. Here left hand side is equal to right hand side. So by this way you can verify this particular property. Next we have your second property K plus L into A is equal to K A plus L A. See here A is a matrix, K and L are the scalar values. So let us take one matrix A is equal to 1, 5, 3, 2 which is a 2 cross 2 matrix. Here we have 2 rows and 2 columns. For this, I am taking some element k is equal to 4 and l is equal to 2. These two are the scalar values. Now, let us perform the scalar multiplication. See here we have, first I am taking the left hand side, k plus l into a. That is 4 plus 2 into a, 1, 5, 3, 2. Now, see 4 plus 2 gives the answer 6. Then, 6 you need to multiply with this matrix. So, 6 is a scalar here. Um, I have added two scalar values which is also a scalar. When you multiply scalar with the matrix, you need to multiply the scalar value with every element of the matrix. So, 6 into 1, 6. 6 into 5, 30. 6 into 3, 18. 6 into 2, 2 value. So, we got here 6, 30, 18, 12. Next here, let us find out the right hand side. K, A plus L, A. So, K, A, that is K is 4. 4 into matrix A is 1, 5, 3, 2. So, this you have to multiply with this matrix. 
plus this two scalar value you need to multiply with the a matrix so first let us perform the multiplication 4 into 1 4 4 into 5 20 4 into 3 12 4 into 2 8 plus 2 into 1 2 2 into 5 10 2 into 3 6 2 into 4 sorry 2 into 2 is 4 now here we got this value k is this one and this is l a these two values you have to add these two are the matrices so you have to perform the matrix addition so here we get 4 plus 2 20 plus 10 12 plus 6 then 8 plus 4 so the final answer is 6 30 18 and 12 now you compare this value and this both the values are same and the order of the matrix is also same that means here we can say now k plus l into a is equal to k a plus l a so this property we can verify like this way so this is about the properties of scalar multiplication of a matrix if you like this video please like and subscribe also click the bell icon to get regular notification Thanks for watching.